Welcome to another video of Monster Hunter Rise. In this video I've decided to do a set of highlights where we will be completing four quests rather than just one because these are more of the mundane quests. Um, two of them, one's a mushroom collecting quest and the other one is defeating small monsters. Um, there are also two quests where I will fight a great Izuchi um, to get the Izuchi armor set, just so that I've got a better defense than I currently have. Um, and I just wanted to show the cooking sequence. Ah, little face. Uh, cooking just gives you some bonuses, so it's always worth doing. So here we are, why bugs and all. Um, so yeah, during these small quests, I was kind of trying to get hang of the why bug system. Um, I'm still not 100% with it, but it's, it's a pretty cool system. The other thing. Obviously, I was trying to get hot hang of is the bow. This is the first game where I'm going to be maining a ranged weapon, which seems to be going all right. I've still got a lot to get better at. Um, obviously, here I'm missing quite a lot. Um, I'm press, miss to miss pressing buttons constantly, um, but I'm not using up my potions this time around. Probably because I've selected no items in my item selector. So this should be the last set of mushrooms. And there we go. Now this quest took in real time 20 minutes. Um, but it was very boring and it was me just trying to get hold of the wire bug. But there we go, it's a learning process. Uh, this guy offers me a mini quest, a sub quest, just to level up my Palomo, which we can do while on other quests. And he'll give me some scrolls, which I don't know what they do. Yeah, here I'm just trying to decide what quest to do next. And again, I select a quest that isn't one of the store uh, key quests well done me um, but again more practice um, I'm hoping to complete each start star level fully I'm not gonna film it all um, because it is pretty boring or I'll condense it into a highlight reel and again here's the final one this one I completed a lot quicker and here we go so the second time fighting him, I found it a lot easier this time, um, however I'm still getting hit by his attacks and I'm also running out of stamina very quickly, um, but I'm starting to learn his strengths. Um, the little guys keep getting in the way unfortunately, um, so every hit I'm trying to get on him they keep getting in the way. Which is pretty awesome. Um, there we go, my buddy throwing some grenades at him. Oh, what a perfect dodge. So yeah, I'm getting better, but nowhere near as good as I am in the other games. Um, yep, and now it's weekend, so it shouldn't be much longer. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Now when he's asleep, your attacks do bonus damage, so you always want to use your strongest attack or a bomb, but I don't have any bombs on hand, so my melee attack is the strongest attack I can do currently, um, because I didn't bring any coatings. And he's down. Again, this was a lot quicker than the first time around. Now we're back on the hunt for the next one. 
hopefully he's here somewhere. Again, I'm trying to learn the quickest ways around with the Palamute. I haven't had much practice. Apparently this weird run speeds him up. If it actually does or doesn't, I have no idea, but I will look this up just so that I'm more efficient at getting to the monsters. Uh, one bonus this game has over the previous handheld versions is that you always know where the monster is. In the previous versions, um, you'd normally start a quest, you wouldn't know where they are. Um, you'd have to look online for roughly what area they start in, but there'd be no guarantee. This one, it gives you his location, you don't need to use paintballs to follow him. Um, partly because the areas are all in one large area, rather than 12 different areas that have loading. Um, which is really good. Um, you spend less time loading, more time fighting. Quests obviously feel a lot shorter. And it's far more efficient. And if you, obviously in the old games, if you went to the wrong area, on the way to another area, you'd have to backtrack. While on this one, it's you've got the wire bug, so you could practically fly over some of the mountain ledges. Um, here, I'm using the power coating, which I remembered to equip this time around. This gives you bonus damage um, compared to the one I was using before, so like 12 compared to 6, so double damage. So I should be able to bring him down a lot quicker. Um, that's one of his main attacks, which is quite easy to tell, because your character shouts. Um, I believe it's your character, I have no idea. I can't even remember whose voice it is. Oh, missed. Yeah, I'm starting to get more accurate, but... Meh. I still can do better. Now, there are some moments during this quest where I do some amazing dodges. Um... Is this one of them? Nope, this is not one of them. But eventually he'll attack me and I'll just slide out the way. Okay, it's when we get down to the next area. It's quite good looking back to see him that the closer I am, the close range, the weapons do seem to do a lot more damage. Though I'd expect that from the close range coating rather than the power coating. Okay, so at this point I do start to do better. Um, so I'm able to dodge more of his attacks. There we go. I'm recognising his tails. And the buddies are just nailing him down like I didn't realise how overpowered they are in this. Like that my buddy just threw a bomb at him and did twenty three damage. Um so at this point I realised that I've got more than one coating equipped. Um quick healing. Um, and then at some point I do switch the coating that I'm using. Ah, perfect dodge that time. That's good, I interrupted his attack. He is so angry. Easy dodge. Come on. Oh, and let that building falls down. That's a neat little feature. I don't think it did any damage though. Oh, almost. Yep, 
here, I switched to a par par paralysis, paralysis coating, um, which greatly increases the chance of stunning him. Um, each one star has a set susceptibility to paralysis. Obviously, because the first large monster you, you bow, it's quite low. Um, so he only takes a few hits, and there we go. Now, if I had more coatings of paralysis, it would take a lot more hits to now stun him. But it's a great way of just scoring some extra hits without concern of worrying about him attacking you. Next, I switch to the poison coating. Um, so again, a few shots of this, he then gets poisoned, and that does bonus damage. So every second he is hit with a 10 damage, and that's really helpful, especially this early on, when I'm only doing 6 damage per hit. So if you add them together, it really brings the amount of, time, amount of hits that I need to put on him down. And... There we go. And he is almost dead. And I got hit badly then. Okay, and now is the point where he's finally weakened. I should be able to just take him down really easily. <laughs> My buddy just throwed a bomb for no reason. Off we go then. Um, so he is completely worn out. It's not going to take many more hits before I bring him down. Unfortunately, I'm not the one who does the final hit. So I get hit at some point quite easily. Oh, that was an awesome dodge. And he sends me flying. Is it here? No. Nope. Yes, yeah, at this point. There we go. And then one of my buddies knocked him out. Awesome. So I'll end it here. After this quest, I upgraded my armor and are now ready to attack the next large monster so if you like the video please like like it and if you want to see more videos please subscribe thank you